I had some nightmares last night from, from things that I've seen. I wanted to be a Marine since I was eight years old, but I didn't think going to combat and coming back would have the effects that it did on me. When I wake up in the morning, I, I feel regret. I, I take on responsibility for actions that caused people to not come home. Travis went to Iraq, and I don't think Travis came home. I am a first responder as a firefighter. I'm a survivor of combat duty in Iraq. I am a survivor of two suicide attempts. Um, I'm a survivor of alcohol and drug addiction. I've been through three rehabs. I'm just a survivor. My nickname in the military was, uh, my last name's Flowers, so they would call me Daisy. In the military, they, they teach you that uh, if you ask for help, you come off as weak. So I was out for almost four years before I went and asked for help. I was four years too long. So the first time I met Penny, we had that chemistry, I guess, that connection. She had some brain trauma, and I, I've had that as well. So I just, I, I knew where she was coming from. I knew where she had been. I feel like we felt safe around each other. I try to see Penny as often as I can. I make sure that she's taken care of. I make sure that she's, she feels needed. Kind of shower with uh, affection and gifts. A lot of pink gifts. Good girl. When I think of Travis, I think of someone who was lost and who lacked a sense of purpose. This love story between him and Penny has given him his sense of purpose. The way that she looks at him and the way she interacts with him, now she has a purpose. So I'm about to get trained in equine-assisted learning. It's a form of equine therapy. Through our equine-assisted learning, we get to learn about the horse-human relationship. And the basis of that is trust and respect. You have to offer it, and you have to also earn it. You're relaxed, he can relax. Part of that is we learn that horses are prey animals. One of the things they do to ensure safety is they sync up their heart rates to all be the same in the wild. And as soon as one of the horses senses danger, sees a predator, they break that sync. All the other horses feel that. They instinctively turn and run. Because of that, horses can pick up our heart rate from up to four feet away. So if you have any anxieties, if you are not focused on the present, if your mind is leading you back into the past, or if you are focusing on your to-do list for next week, the horses will know that and will react to it. I wanna do it for veterans and, and people in recovery. You know, it's people need to know that you can go and ask for help and it's not considered weak. Just got an extra coil there. We need to get the word out there that there's, there's more opportunities for counseling or whatever you need because suicide is just rampant. If I didn't find equine therapy, I, I don't think that I would be around, to be totally honest. The horses in the equine assisted learning program and equine therapy saved my life. Penny just puts the cherry on top. One of these days, I'm gonna sweep you up and we're gonna just run away. <laughs>